Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are positioning themselves as the royals of the world, an expert has claimed. Meghan and Prince Harry have been very good at connecting with younger generations over the past years and in particular following their move to the US, according to brand and reputation management expert Eric Schiffer. The California-based commentator spoke about what he considers the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's master plan maybe while discussing the recent work being carried out by the royal family. He told that, I think Meghan and Harry's master plan is to position themselves as the royals of the world, not just of the UK, and done through acts of benevolence and leadership with the heart that is meaningful to the values and desires of Gen Z and millennials. Prince Harry and Meghan, Mr Schiffer also said, have been vocal about causes younger generations are deeply passionate about, including the environment, gender and racial equality. The environment has been at the forefront of Prince Harry's work for years. Following in Prince Philip's footsteps, he became a vocal advocate for conservation. In 2017, he sanctioned his interest by becoming president of African Parks. In 2019, Harry interviewed Dr. Jane Goodall for the September issue of Vogue guest edited by Meghan. During their chat, the Duke expressed his concerns for future generations over the limited resources of the planet and revealed he and the Duchess would not have more than two children. In the same year, Harry also led the launch of Travelist, which unites giants in the travel sectors in an effort to make sustainable tourism more mainstream. After they stepped down as senior royals at the end of March 2020, Meghan and Harry also spoke freely about issues that aren't normally discussed by working royals, including race and gender equality. In April 2020, during a video call with young leaders and members of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, the royal couple called for holding uncomfortable discussions when it comes to the past. Meghan said, We're going to have to be a little uncomfortable right now because it's only in pushing through that discomfort that we get to the other side of this and find the place where a high tide raises all ships. Equality does not put anyone on the back foot, it puts us all on the same footing, which is a fundamental human right. Moreover, in October 2020, the Duke spoke about his own experience with racism, saying he became aware of unconscious racial bias only after meeting Meghan. Speaking with Patrick Hutchinson, who carried a far-right protester to safety during unrest at an anti-Black Lives Matter rally, Harry said, no one's pointing the fingers. You can't really point fingers, especially when it comes to unconscious bias. But once you realize or you feel a little bit uncomfortable, then the onus is on you to go out and educate yourself, because ignorance is no longer an excuse. On the other hand, Meghan has been a champion of gender equality for years, starting to make her voice heard on the matter since she was a child. Aged 11, she famously put the spotlight on Procter & Gamble after perceiving its advert for dishwashing ivory soap as sexist. The then-child wrote letters to the company as well to influential U.S. women, including Hillary Clinton, after which Procter & Gamble changed its advert slogan. After joining the royal family, the Duchess continued to promote gender equality through her work. Less than a year after her marriage with Harry, she marked International Women's Day by joining a panel of feminist leaders and activists to discuss the importance of taking action. Her work on gender equality and supporting women continued after she left the firm, and in August she marked her 48th birthday by launching a mentorship effort to help women who have lost their job during the pandemic but are trying to re-enter the market. Most recently, she has been campaigning for paid parental leave in the US, an issue she said to consider humanitarian rather than political. Meghan Markle has been through a lot since she married Prince Harry. Setting aside the countless duties, one of the main reasons behind Megxit, Markle has also been battling racism and sexism from not only the royal family but also the media itself. Only the royal family.